Hi everyone, my name is Kenford and I'm here to share my experience with working with Avalon. So I've been a spiritual seeker for about three years now and while I did reach my own progress, make my own progress, make breakthroughs, I reached way more plateaus. I kept running into very consistent issues that would persist and I could not figure out how to transcend and get past these problems and that was very frustrating. I would feel numb and empty because what's the point of the spiritual journey if you're just going to fail, run in circles and you know be in this perpetual cycle of failure basically. Um, so I knew I needed a change. I needed some assistance, and so I re I heard, I've heard of that. I came across Avalon, and in immediately my intuition told me, yes, you need to look into this further. So I booked three sessions with her, and as the sessions got closer in date, I felt more and more terrified, which I concluded from which I concluded, I'm just terrified to feel. And there's something inside me that is terrified to see what's there. A part of me is just terrified to experience myself in feeling. So the session came, we you know, got to know each other, and she was very warm, very comfortable space. I felt very comfortable. But she told me immediately, like, hey, your energy is very packed. You have this much in your conscious awareness. And you have this much in your unconscious awareness. And you're just repressing that whole pile. And so you cannot transcend your obstacles that way. You cannot look away and transcend and move forward at the same time. And so, you know, that was tough to hear, but I needed it. So we started to dive deep. What is there? What is that part of me that I am so afraid to face? And she told me once we started, there's a lot of pain. Go deeper into this. And what came up was trepidation, hesitancy, and just terror. I didn't want to, it was as if, it was as if I, was on the edge of a cliff and I was just scared to jump off into my abyss. I was scared to do a free fall into my abyss and by the grace of God and my own willingness and the guidance from Avalon, I surrendered and I got swept up in my own pain. The tears flowed, cries let out, and I started to experience a huge wave of pain. And from there on, she started to read my unconscious thoughts. And each thought was like a wave that, that moved through me. It was like an emotion that was waiting for me to ride. And each thought that she verbalized to me from my unconscious mind, I recognized instantly, right? And it was super tough to remember that stuff and relive it, but very much needed. So after that, she brought in my father, who I had very much resented all my life for being a tyrant and for splitting the family apart. And what she did was read his thoughts to me. And I can be empathetic I can conceptually put myself in another person's shoes and, you know, feel what they're feeling. But this case was very different. She read me. She verbalized his thoughts to me. And I felt experientially what my father felt. And it was some of the most gut-wrenching and heartbreaking pain I'd ever felt in my life. Um... To feel another person's pain in here, in the heart, experientially, is a whole different 
experience than the conceptual empathy that we always do. And she did the same thing for my mom in the second session. Also, some of the most gut-wrenching pain I've ever felt in my life. You know, it was so... Facing what my dad and mom, fe like facing their feelings from the heart, experientially. It was some of the most heartbreaking moments, the most visceral pain I've ever felt. But I can tell you, it was very much needed. Um, I now understand why our family shaped to be the way it was. Um, the traumas I, that got passed on to me, that I internalized from it. And it was just like, whoa, no wonder I've been running in circles. I've been overlooking all this stuff my whole life. And to finally see it with my heart, you know, feel it in my body, feel what I was feeling and felt feeling what they were feeling. A collective empathy took place over my past and my family and I can tell you right now I very much needed it it was heartbreaking but the imagery is more accurate to say my heart broke open instead of you know being in sh being shattered in different pieces my heart broke but it opened up and a new found love and understanding has taken place for my dad and my mom my siblings, and myself, you know. A weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You've faced your fears, and with that comes an increase of self-esteem, um, lightness in your being, openness, and it's been a life-changing experience. It's been, it brought me full circle as to why I was experiencing so many plateaus, and Avalon kicked off a process in me that is irreversible. I needed a catalyst. I and you, we have more capacity to feel and transcend than we think. We underestimate ourselves, but it just sometimes it takes a catalyst to spark a new level of consciousness and awareness. And most importantly, Heart. So I cannot recommend working with Avalon enough. She is very friendly, so kind, and I love her so much. <laughs> it's been such a pleasure working with her, and it's been life changing. Some of the best, it's been some of the best investments in myself I've made. So if any part of you resonates, I would say listen to it because that's what I did and I'm very thankful that I did. So with that being said, face your fears because that is where freedom lies. The way out is in and I cannot think of a better guide to lead you in this journey of healing karma than Avalon. So what are you waiting for? Go change your life.